Here you are playing with the cat. Welcome to my gaming channel. All right, well, welcome back to the channel, you knuckleheads. Uh, of course, I'm bringing y'all some Battlefront beta, some Star Wars Battlefront beta today. Game's coming out next month, but of course, I was able to get into the beta. You can get to choose your uh, blasters, your your cards, get you your thermal detonators, a cycler rifle, your jetpack, and whatnot. Whole variety of specialized equipments and uh, weaponry. Personally, I like the DLT-19 for the blaster. It's heavy, long range, quick cooldown on it. Big clip. Now here in the beta, they're offering just a couple... <coughs> Excuse me. I like to apologize to the forefront. I am getting over a bout of pneumonia at this moment, so uh, you might hear a few coughs and a bit of cracking in the voice here. The uh, voice through will suffer for it, but I'm going to soldier through and get this video out to y'all because I think Star Wars Battlefront is more important than my health, damn it. Alright. Well, they got two types we can play in this. Uh, the, the pod recovery and the walker assault. I've played a bunch of the walker assault because I myself am an old school Star Wars fan. And I'll tell you right now. Anybody that loves the old Star Wars movies, I'm sure you've always wanted to play uh, in real time the walker assault on Hoth. And it's, it's incredible. It's, it's just like the entire battle. I mean, you've got the space lasers and the satellites. You've got those little turret lasers. You've got so many rebels and empire running around with ATATs, the ATSTs. You've got a dogfight going on overhead. I mean, it's just hell on Earth. And it ain't even Earth because it's the ice moon of Hoth. <laughs> Alright. Well, I've picked the wrong blaster on this one, but it's okay. You gotta make do with what you got. Come on! I will fight! Over here! Come on! Well, I guess that's what the D-pad does. Apparently you can go in third person in this for a second, or hold down the D-pad, go for regular third person. Now, these coins give you the ability to pick up things like vehicles or imploder grenades and such. This one, I'm grabbing a chicken walker. Let's see how this sound bitch turns out. I know it's making the sounds already, but I like to make them in my head and with my mouth. You play the game your own damn way, I'll play it mine. Yeah, okay, well, this, it's a little awkward at first trying to figure this out. It's, it likes to fire a little low, but I'm getting this. Of course, what we're supposed to do here is uh, we're pushing forward, trying to get our ATATs in to destroy the power generators in the back of the base and destroy these rebel scum. I've always wanted to destroy some rebel scum. For the Empire! Well, apparently they've made a mechanic to stop people from being able to walk off edges. Screw blueberries. They can walk off an edge all they care, you know. Let me walk down a fucking five-foot cliff. Come on now. Yeah, let's see if I can't sneak up behind these some bitches. Hello. Some of that laser action going. And a little bit of rocket for you and cluster grenades. Now, if you haven't picked up the open beta for this, I believe there's only a day or two left of it, so I'd recommend doing that ASAP. Because whatever type of player you are, if you enjoy any aspect of a first-person shooter, that aspect for, or of enjoyment is in this game for you. And then some. I mean, if you want to be a turret man, there are turrets everywhere. You want to be a vehicle man, you just gotta find yourself a coin. You can even go in as a hero. And of course, on the rebel side, that'll be uh, Luke Skywalker. And on the uh, Empire side, we get Lord Vader. I can't believe these people are not marshalling their uh, the troops and splitting both units. Not quite their fault though, we are uh, flanking them pretty hard. <laughs> Come on enemy scum, get you some. Pachoo, pachoo. Ah shit, oh that's gonna take me down. Get the chance, those vehicle turrets are incredible against uh, the AT-ATs and the ATSTs. 
And if you can get up on a mountaintop, it's not so bad against the uh, enemy ships as well. Now I was telling you about the turrets. Of course, there's a couple different types. Actually, there's several different types uh, between the ones that are stationary here and ones you can pop out. Automatic ones and ones you have to control. But this one, it's, it's pretty awesome. It takes a bit of skill to actually utilize it against a moving target. And your big targets, of course, it's, it's an easy shot. But... Oh, yeah! You gotta lead them just right to hit a fucking TIE Fighter with it. Yeah, here's one of those automated uh, infantry turrets. Now, I'm sure they'll uh, fix that at one point, but one of the things they actually do is uh, block an entrance area. So even if somebody wants to just run up on it, they're going to go ahead and run into it. It's going to be a big old invisible blockade. Also, they're going to get shot in the dick. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Bring him in. That's right. Fetch. Good boy. That's a good rebel. Good rebel scum. He got the grenade. Let's see. Any more of these scum down here? Now, if you pay attention to your mini-map, the motion marking is pretty incredible. Right, let's try to lead him in. Oh, that's the grenade. And now he's coming. Leg shot and double kill. Now, one thing y'all might have noticed if you watch my videos and uh, a long-time viewer of the channel, I do not do flying. I generally hate flying a video game, it's unwieldy, it's not as fun as it could be, and I frankly can't do the whole dogfighting or shooting anything. However, this game has changed that fact quite some bit. You still see the uh, uh, unqualified noob flying something and you know, trying to crash into you, but you make sure to get some shots on those straight flying bastards and take, uh, take them out. Of course, some of these games are some incredible flyers, and some of them had we're just trying to run circles around me. So I got my little brother in another TIE Fighter. You'll see him floating around that golden bastard. I'm sorry, the, uh, the Interceptor. Getting turned and run into the missile. Just a free shot. Alright, we got him a couple of shots. He bounced off me, got a little bit of damage in there, but... He's gonna get where he can get it. He is not good enough to keep me going. Now, this guy may do some maneuvers, but he ain't good enough to outmaneuver me. Magoomba! Oh, I love that crash pattern. That was cool. I told you there were heroes. Go, Lord Vader. Little brother DJ War got the Vader coin. He's just going to town. Lightsaber, the force choke. Yeah, take that, you rebel scum. Kill them all. Let the force work them out. Oh, you like teabagging someone you didn't even kill, bitch. Yeah, peekaboo. Little quick shot with the Carcano Cycler Rifle. Same gun they kill Kennedy with, goddammit. You can kill Kennedy, you can kill a, re a rebel. I also like to call it the peekaboo rifle. If you can get a headshot, just poke it out. Well, and peekaboo! I see you. <laughs> well, as I said before, this DLT 19 blaster is kind of a beast. Peekaboo! That's a big old clip. It does high damage downrange, very accurate. But of course, you're not using actual bullets, so the recoil is negligible. Otons with little push. Oh, oh. I'll take my head off there. Oh, they took the ATST. Chicken Walker, no! I will avenge you. And. Peekaboo! <laughs> you know, I do gotta say, uh, I'm sure they're gonna change it up. That's what this bait is for, but the Rebel, or, I'm sorry, the Imperial Fleet definitely has a huge advantage on this. 
Of course, that's kind of the point. The rebels are always the underdogs. And, you know, here we're going to squash these underdogs right under our feet. A little bit of lag here and there, but... Oh, that only started today once a whole lot of people started getting in. First day was a bit clearer. Once again, it's what the beta's for. The melee seems a little glitchy, though. I mean, unless you're right behind somebody, it doesn't want to work just w or just right. But that's okay. We're here learning these. The rebels have activated the uplink. Move on that position. All right, let's try to take this point before they can go ahead and hit this one too. Rebel scum. Come on, you son of bitches. Ah, shit. They activated. Gotta get that push. Yeah, how you like my blaster rifle, bitch? Aw, oh, son of a bitch. That guy's in one of those laser turrets. Ah, oh, shit! He knows where the spawns are, too. Wait a minute, is that my buddy Dakota? That son of a bitch, oh hi, it's Dakota. He got in into my game on the enemy team. That son of a bitch. And take a thermal imploder. And Magoomba! Get them shots in your face, son. Tossing grenades and running on in. Oh, you fly, little shit. Where are you going? Oh, thank you for the laser. Thank you for the uh, shield. I don't know why, but some of these noobs keep dropping shields for the enemies. I'll take it. I just don't recommend they do it. Oh, someone else in one of them laser turrets. Code, is that you again, you son bitch? Yarr. I like the little squad spawn they got, the partner start. See your entire screen uh, when you're deciding whether or not to spawn in on somebody. But here, he has gotten really smart on this. The best thing to do is try to get behind these bastards and take their own heavy shit. Make sure to shoot them in the back, keep them from getting to their own uh, turrets and whatnot way back in the back. Reduce the amount of high damage they can do. Got my buddy Royalty in the laser turret, so I'm gonna go space laser. See if I can't shoot some actual individuals. Dudes, it's doable. Holy shit. It's a one-shot killer. Oh! Gotta get pissed when this thing hits you. There's a charge up, a lead. I mean, damn, that is a difficult shot, but... Definitely make them. Of course, if they want to hold still for you, why not? <laughs> Space laser to the rescue! Oh, this is just gorgeous. You know, I've never actually had before this game, and this is just a beta, but before this beta, I've never played a game that actually made me feel like I was in Star Wars Universe. Anyone that hasn't tried this beta, as I said, there's only a day or two left, so please get yourselves in on it and give it a shot, because this game is going to be fun on a button. If you miss out, you're going to kick yourselves in the ass for it. All you Star Wars fans, I know you're going to be getting it anyway. Ha 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 ha! Lasers! Ooh, this is such a fun game. This is just the beta. I can't wait for the game to actually come out. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. I'm definitely going to be picking up this game. Well, if you like this and want to see more, by all means, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'd like to remind you all, load your guns and keep on gaming. And as always, this is the Captain, signing out.